We've had a package turn up from Rocket Industries, and so we're just going to check out what we've got. The boost controller turn up. And over here, we've got the oil cooler. So I'm running an oil cooler. This one here we picked up back in 2016 from App Garage. Um, it's a trust one. And I'm pretty sure we got it from the Up Garage that was in Yokohama when we went and visited Moon Ice Cafe in Yokohama. So that's pretty cool. It's even got its little label still on there. Trust. Alright, so that's what I'm going to be running. Alright, so we've got some dash fittings. We've got the oil temp gauge. And then over here we have a special universal sandwich adapter. So this one here. Alright, so that's where the dash tan hose will be going in, some of the fittings there. Um, so this side it has the rubber o-ring that goes to the block and then on this side is flat and that's where the oil filter goes. And then you've got here you actually have some 1 8 MPT fittings. He's mounted the oil cooler. He's also cut the hole in the dash and mounted the oil temp gauge. So it comes, we're running a mechanical one, comes down through the firewall to there. So we go in there and then you, the braided hoses will come out and into the oil cooler. So let's get to it. Got everything pulled off. Ready for installation. Makes a mess. So just want to screw this fitting. Yeah. And once that's screwed on, oil filter is screwed on the end. We'll put our sandwich paint in between. We'll just leave it on loose. So we see how these are going to work. Put a screw on the end of that. I might actually clean up those fittings here. One's for an oil light, the other's for an oil pressure gauge. Got a T piece there. We might get rid of that T piece and use one of these fittings here. Be a little bit tidier. Now we've got all that off, we can just run the oil light switch. Put some more thread tape on. Plug that back in. There we go. We'll grab this sandwich plate. Test fit that on figure out what side's the best side to use for the oil pressure gauge. Sun's out. Paint's out. Let's get this thing sorted. Can't get all that blue off without sandblasting it. I really want to sandblast it. 
Grand Canyon. Flat. Gloss. My goodness. Uh, let's go gloss. It'd be cool to leave that silver, wouldn't it? Try to take that with That's too difficult. Get some back. Nice light coat to start off with. Let it go. We'll get back to this. So it looks like we're going to use the fitting on the right. It's going to be that one. It sits that way. We'll use this one here. Or this line here. Oddly satisfying. Because we're running mechanical gauge, we need to go from the dash 10 line to a half inch, which is this, and then the probe goes inside there. So we've got a dash 10T, which will go in line to the oil cooler. That'll screw on. Convert it to a half inch. And then the probe goes in there. So that's annoyingly too long. We can take that off. Get rid of that. And cut and weld this fitting on here and it's a lot nicer and shorter. Let's weld it together. Should be right. Puddle. Too hard to try and make the word masked up, so I wish I got the spot. Painted the little welded fitting now. Make this thing happen. Looks tidy. Almost looks like a ball on. Make sure you put it on right, otherwise, when you do it up, it'll force the primer's tape off. Put the primer's tape on in a way where, as you're tightening it, keeps the primer's tape on. So you can see now, it's finished off that way. So now, as I tighten that on, Keeps it on.
Nice, shouldn't leak. Yeah, we'll start making our lines. Right. Let's put a little peak clamp there. Hold it in position. Couple of hose separators. Should be nice. Just throw them on. So we'll put the back on. We'll let that. That is less than ideal. All the fittings are tight. This one's not leaking. It's just spewing out of there. That's half the oil. And everything comes again. Inspect why it's leaking there. I don't know if you can see that there. That's the culprit. It'll crack. It'll lose its oil real quick if it does that. Look at it. Look at the mess. You can spat it all the way over there. But it's time for an oil change. You can definitely see the crack there. There's a little crack at the bottom of the fitting there too. I should fix it. Don't you bloody lick again. Feel free to laugh if it happens again. Seems to be okay so far. Check down here. Looks good. <laughs>